Hello, real estate friends. It's Dave Stoko, your friend in real estate. The five most common mistakes in real estate. I've been seeing this for 10 years now. Hey, do me a favor. Subscribe right now so that this great content comes to you and everyone else. Five huge mistakes sellers are making. Are you making them too? Number one, overpricing your home. I do it, you do it, why do we do it? We know what the right price is. We just wanna to ask too much, we wanna ask it for too long, and we wanna fight reducing the price to where we know it ought to be. Do yourself a favor, I need to do myself a favor when I'm selling my real estate, price it right. Get it right, price it right. First most common mistake, I see it day in, day out. So do you. Second, not getting the home market ready. Do you know how many homes I've walked through that I'm like, what are you thinking? I mean, the place looks horrible. You gotta declutter, you gotta deep clean, get rid of all your personalized stuff and get that house staged and ready to sell. It's gotta be market ready. This is a competition. You're, got, you're trying to sell your home. You're competing against other homes. It's gotta look good. You gotta be market ready. Third, looking through rose colored glasses. What do I mean by that? Hey, we all think that our home is the best thing out there, right? Better than every home in the neighborhood. Got all the upgrades that no one else has. Bigger, better. I don't know why we do it as owners. I do it, you do it. We think our home is bigger, better, and we just don't look at it for what it is. I'm sure our homes are nice. I'm sure your home is nice. But look at it as a buyer might look at it. See the weaknesses, see the shortcomings, also see the strengths, of course but your home's not perfect, come on. My home's not perfect, there's no perfect home out there. Recognize their shortcomings. And so we've gotta be realistic, we gotta look at our homes objectively because that's how buyers are gonna look at them too, right? Fourth, talking buyers out of the sale. What do I mean by this? I'm talking about going through the house with the buyer and showing them every little detail of your home and telling them the five minute story behind it. Uh, when I have owners walk me through their homes, I'm just blown away sometimes. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I hope they don't show the home to a buyer that way, but yet I see it happen. So you don't need to walk them through and show them every closet, everything. Let, let that buyer walk through your house. Stand back, walk them around, sure. Tell them what they want to know, answer their questions, but you don't have to show the home. You got to stand back, let them walk through the home. Give them some space, let them walk around it. Uh, be there to answer their questions, but you don't have to tell them everything about the home. And then you start telling them about the neighbors and you know the friends next door and everything else. And, and you start talking too much and saying too much. You're gonna talk your buyer right out of a sale. So agents, we certainly gotta do it. You as homeowners gotta do it. We gotta shut up and stop talking and start listening to what these buyers are saying and what they're interested in, right? Fifth common mistake I see it happen. When an owners do choose to list with a real estate agent, they hire the absolute wrong agent. Who's the wrong agent? Wrong agent is a friend that you feel obligated to list with because he's your buddy or she's your buddy. Uh, it's the family member who you really don't want to hire, but you just feel like that relationship is going to get ruined if you don't hire them or it's just hiring the most convenient, easy agent that's there right now, and so it's easiest to sign. Do yourself a favor, interview for that job. This is a big position. You're potentially investing a large amount of money in getting those services. Make sure you do your homework. Find out who you're talking to. Interview three or four good agents. Find a referral, get a reference. And don't just feel like you've got to list with somebody because they're a friend or a family member. Everybody knows an agent. If you can avoid yourself these five common mistakes, you're going to save yourself a ton of time, pain, and trouble. Keep coming back. Like it. Subscribe to our channel. Help this channel grow. I'm here to help you. My name is Dave Stoko. I'm your friend in real estate, baby.